What's up guys? Welcome to a hopefully quick episode of Fully Spooled because I was getting ready to hook up my clutch master cylinder and doing research I realized that the factory cylinder that I'm using here is a 5 8 inch bore and the T56 slave cylinder requires a 3 quarter inch bore uh, master cylinder. So I was kind of panicking thinking well what am I going to do here and I did some research and found that the 1987 Land Cruiser uses a 3 quarter inch master cylinder and looks like it has the same bolt pattern as a factory master cylinder for the Lexus. So I'm going to pull out my $17 Land Cruiser slave or master cylinder here and hopefully, hopefully this guy will bolt right up. So we'll see how this goes. So the silver one here is what came with the excessive engineering kit. This is off I think a 93 Celica and here is the Land Cruiser one. This is obviously aluminum and this one looks like cast steel. From here to there we have four and a half. From there to there actually is exactly four and a half. So as far as the firewall fitment to where the bolt goes through on the clutch pedal, it's exactly the same length. So the, the tricky part will be, is this too short sticking out of the firewall into the engine bay? And it looks like we're pretty lucky that the bolt pattern is the exact same between the two, except that this one doesn't have one of the studs here. Thankfully, I just pulled an entire car apart, so I have plenty of extra bolts and found this one that's the exact same length, almost, but it'll fit. Well, it won't fit through with the rubber attached like this, so I'm going to pull this rubber piece off and then I'll stick it through and put the rubber back on from the inside. So it looks like it's going to bolt up just fine. The only problem is this metal piece up here on the actual master cylinder itself is too wide to go through the hole in the firewall. So I'm going to widen that hole out just a tiny little bit so I can fit this guy through. Well I jumbled out the hole a little bit and the good news is it fits perfectly in place. So it turns out that the Land Cruiser master cylinder is a great way to get a 3 quarter inch master cylinder onto the Lexus chassis. That, so that's the good news. The bad news is the clutch pedal sits way higher than the brake pedal does. So this is the clutch pedal here. It should be kind of down there, but instead it's all the way up there. The good thing is even though the clutch pedal here is a good three to four inches higher than the brake pedal, when you look up at the actual mechanism itself, going down even with the brake pedal only pushes the top part of the pedal maybe, maybe a half an inch or so. So I think if I take half an inch of that bolt in the middle off, then I'll be able to have this go down and rest perfectly even with the brake pedal. So I think that's going to be the plan. Let's just cut it right here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Are you kidding? What a pain in the ass that was. Hopefully that's going to be short enough to fit my clutch pedal. Well, look at that. Alright, I gotta screw this guy all the way in and see if it works. All right, that's much better. It's only about a half inch off now, so the good thing is... Oh, shit. Well, it's a bit better. It's still about a half inch off. Maybe an inch higher than the brake pedal. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do about that now. Actually, you know, I could do... I could take that bolt out. And thread this guy back on even further. Hopefully this will do it. It is now lined up exactly with the clutch pedal or the brake pedal and it goes all the way down perfectly. That is my answer right there. That's awesome. So yeah, there we have my solution to the three quarter inch clutch master cylinder situation. It's all bolted up nicely and uh, the clutch pedal is about oh an eighth of an inch lower than the brake pedal. And when I go to full extension, it stops just before, maybe about a half inch before hitting the floor there. So I think it fits perfectly and um, 
will actually work out great. Now I was originally going to cut down my brake pedal here so it wasn't, you know, so I would have just my the pedal being here, but because this is so close to this, I'm afraid I'm going to go to jab the clutch pedal and my toe is going to hit the brake pedal here and I'm going to, you know, be in a world of hurt. So I actually just went and ordered the factory OEM manual transmission SC300 brake pedal assembly and uh, that is uh, $72 online and it should in theory move all of this over so I won't have any problems you know hitting the wrong one by accident. And here's the master cylinder from inside the engine bay and uh, it fits actually a little bit better I think than the other one that I had. We'll see once I try putting the actual fittings on here. It's very close to fitting but I'm gonna have to cut or bend this metal out of the way for it to fit unfortunately. So as you can see I had to hammer out more of my metal there to make this thing fit but it does fit and there's a little bit of paint down there uh, you know if you're going to use this on your car uh, you know you can either get a, a thinner you know like a slimmer fitting here which i didn't really feel like dealing with trying to find the right fittings and sizes or everything or you can do what i did and bend this metal a bit or you can just cut a bit of metal out there but either way it's on it fits i'm happy any angle spray well, let's see Yeah, I guess so. All right. Oh, that'll be good enough. You can see it just barely, barely spins in place. So now I gotta figure out where I want my clutch line to be routed. Do I wanna go up from above like this, or I can go from down below like that, or just straight on? And really it's just a matter of the best way to route my clutch line through the engine bay. As you can see, the line is super long, so it goes out from there all the way up over and down to the slave cylinder. So I gotta figure out the best routing for that line. Right now I have it tucked under this little like metal bracket right there and then if that's the case then it'll kind of run up like this and then up here and then I'll have to kind of just tie it off down there somewhere. I also need to figure out what to do with my bleeder here for the clutch. I'm not quite sure where that's going to go either. Oh I like that. Oh I'm, I'm digging that actually. So there we have our three quarter inch clutch master cylinder all set up. And this is probably the most cost effective way to do a GM slave cylinder by using that three quarter inch master. It was only 20 bucks. Not bad. Well, it took a bit longer than I thought it would to install, but we have our 1987 clutch master cylinder installed, pretty much bolted up to the SC300, yeah, 400 chassis. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it was $24 shipped for the three quarter inch master that will let me uh, power the GM slave cylinder for the T56 so I really can't complain even though I had to do a little bit more banging and bending and repainting on my chassis it does fit and uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good solution here so uh, anyway thanks again for watching stay tuned for more fully spooled of course there's a lot more coming up we're getting that engine started really really soon so thanks again I'll see you guys next time